Good day students, ito na yung part 3 ng video lesson natin about solving problems involving Venn diagram. Kung di nyo pa napapanood yung part 1 at part 2, check nyo na lang sa description box yung link. Importante na mapanood nyo muna ang part 1 and part 2 bago kayo mag-proceed sa video na ito. So simulan na natin. So in this case, ito na, wala ng Venn diagram. Kayo na mismo yung gagawa ng sariling Venn diagram. So, basahin mo natin yung problem. Out of 50 students, 30 pass in mathematics and 25 pass in chemistry. Answer the following question given that 10 students pass on both subjects. So, question A, how many pass in mathematics only? B, how many pass in chemistry only? C, how many students did not pass on both subjects? or means, nag-fail sa both subject. So, the first thing to do is to draw the universal set. So, the universal set is represented by a rectangle. And then, we have to draw now the circles that will represent the subset of the universal set. So, take note on this. Dapat alam nyo kung ilang circles yung ilang Now, in our problem, napaka-obvious. We have here the circle for those who pass mathematics and those who pass chemistry. So, dapat meron tayong dalawang circle. After that, you have to label. So, let us say, this one represents set M or those who pass in mathematics while this circle is set C or the set of students who pass in chemistry. So, paano nga ba sinusolve ito? So, ang tip dito ay ito. Ang unang-unang lalagyan ko ay ang mga overlapping regions. Anong sir ibig sabihin ng overlapping? Yun yung mga regions na madarapuan both kay M at kay C or yung mga regions na magkakapatong so nahin natin yun. so in this Venn diagram ito yung region na nag-overlap si M at si C yun yung unang-unang lalagyan natin uh, Sir, paano malalaman kung anong lalagyan dyan? You have to read or you have to go back to the problem So as we all know this one represents the intersection of M and C or simply, the region where you have to put the students who pass on both subjects. Now, based on the problem, how many students pass both in chemistry and in mathematics? That is 10. So, you have to put here 10. Ayan. Okay, next. You have to put cardinalities sa mga regions na to. So, as you can see, innermost, tapos, papunta ng outermost. So, depending on the problem, uh, kapag naman ang given ay yung nasa outermost, papunta ka naman sa innermost. It just so happen that in this problem, given kung ano dapat yung nasa innermost. So, paano natin ngayon nilalagay yung numbers dito? According to the problem, 30 pass in mathematics. You cannot write 30 here. Why? Because you already have 10 here. So, ano ang cardinality na dapat natin ilagay dito? So, dapat lahat ng cardinalities or the sum of the cardinalities inside circle M must be 30. Since you already have 10, okay, ang kulang mo na lang ay 20. Okay. Same with this circle. So, how many pass in chemistry? 25. But since you already have 10 here, ilan na lang kinakailangan para magit 25 lahat yan? 15 na lang ang kulang. Hindi pa dyan na natapos sa lahat. 
Sabi ko nga, we start with the innermost. Pagkatapos, ito naman. And of course, the outermost. So, paano natin malaman kung ilan or ano yung cardinality nung nasa labas ng two circles? So, go back again sa problem. According to the problem, how many students are there? Okay, we have 50 students. So, therefore, ilan na lang ang kulang para magkaroon tayo ng 50 students. So, if we're going to add, kung ano na yung meron na tayo, we have 20 plus 10 plus 15 and the sum is 45. So, ilan na lang ang kulang para makumpeto natin ng 50 students? Okay, good. 5. Ayan. And once you have illustrated the problem using a Venn diagram correctly, dapat tama yung cardinalities, it will be easy for you to answer any question about the problem. So let us start first with question A. How many pass in mathematics only? So the answer is simply 20. Okay, next. How many pass in chemistry only? Answer is 15. And the last question, how many students did not pass on both subjects? So, ano pa yung region yun? It is simply the region outside the two circles. Or the region that represents those students who failed on both subjects. So that is simply 5. Ayan. So as you can see, madali na lang sagutan ang isang word problem kapag nakapag-drawing kayo ng Venn diagram. So again, ito ay medyo simple pa kasi two circles. Sa ating next example, ay three circles naman ang gagamitin natin. Kaya mas komplikado siya. Okay, so students, ito na yung last problem natin ay discuss natin. So ito rin yung pinakamahirap sa lahat. Bakit? Hindi na nga given yung Venn diagram involving three circles pa. So basahin mo na natin yung problem. A group of 40 students from Mindanao went to a tour to Las Pinas. Out of the 40 students, 24 joined the trip to South Mall, 18 went to a Via Lifestyle Center, 20 visited Bamboo Organ Church, 12 made a trip to South Mall and a Via Lifestyle Center, 15 saw a Via Lifestyle Center and Bamboo Organ Church, 11 made a trip to South Hall and Bamboo Organ Church. 10 sold the three to response. So, di ba napakahirap, napakadaming given. So, para itong puzzle na dapat ma-unlock nyo. And I am sure kahit gaano kayo pagaling, ay hindi nyo ito ma-resolve kung hindi kayo kagamit ng Ben Dantrak. So, basahin natin yung mga questions. How many went to South Mall and Bamboo Organ Church but not to Evia? Next question. How many went to South Mall only? Third question. How many did not go to any of the three places? Right? So again, first step. You have to draw a rectangle that will represent the universal set. So lakihan natin ng konti. Ayan. Okay. So obviously from the problem, we have three subsets. So, ano yung three subsets na yun? Those students who went to South Mall, students who went to a Via Lifestyle Center, and those students who went to the Bamboo Organ Church. So, let's start. So, we have to draw three circles. Gamit uh, natin yung block. So, circle for the South Mall, circle for Via and circle for the Bamboo Organ Church. Okay, so label natin yung mga circles para huwag kayong malito. So let this circle be set S, this circle be set E, and this circle be set B. So after that, para yung ginawa natin sa two circles, we have to start first with the inner bows. So yung region na kung saan nag-overlap ang lahat. So we have to start first with 
this region. So, paano natin malalaman yan? Actually, there's a tip. If you're going to look at the problem, you have to put the numbers starting from the last number na na-mention sa problem. So, in this case, ang pinaka-nahuling na-mention ay 10. So, 10 so the, two, the three to response. So, from there, paakyat tayo. Doon natin nilalagay yung mga cardinalities. Pasimulan natin. So, when we say 10 so the three to response, you're going to place 10 on the region where the three circles overlap. And that is the innermost region. Ayan. Yan yung uno nyo lalagyan. Okay, next. We proceed doon sa taas niya. So, kung tapos na tayo dito, ang gagawin natin, paakyat tayo. So, itong 11 naman, ang ilalagay natin sa Venn diagram. So, 11 made a trip to South Mall and Bamboo Organ Church. So, ibig sabihin, 11 nakapunta ng South Mall and Bamboo Organ Church. Uh, huwag kayong makonfuse ha. Although gumamit dito ng word na end, it means that yun yung intersection nila. So, ano ba yung intersection sa Venn diagram na South Mall at Bamboo Organ? So, ito yun. So, dapat 11 yan. But since we already have 10 here, ilan na lang ang kulang? Okay, that is 1. So, after mo ma-fill up yung innermost region, ang next mong i-fill up, or yung, yung next na regions dapat lagi mo ng cardinalities, ay ang mga regions na to. Okay, so nalagyan lang natin yung isa. So, proceed tayo sa next one. Okay, according to this, 15 so Evia Lifestyle Center, Center and Bamboo Organ Church. So, Evia Lifestyle Center and the Bamboo Organ Church, ito naman yung kanilang intersection. But since according to the problem, 15 yan, you already have 10 here, so ilan na lang ang ilalagay na dapat dyan? Okay, good. 5. Okay, you have to do this in a very organized manner. Kasi pag hindi ka nagsimula sa innermost, talagang malilito ka. Okay, next. Next is, 12 made a trip to South Mall and Evia Lifestyle Center. So, ano ba ang ating intersection sa South Mall Evia? Okay, this regions. Now, since we already have 10 here, obviously, ilan na lang ang dapat dito? Okay, 2. Okay, after yung malagyan ng cardinalities lahat yan, proceed ka na sa next region. So, you have to write the cardinalities now for these regions. So, again, you have to go back to the problem. Okay, so ito medyo may computation na to. Kaya dapat magaling kayo mag-add. According to the problem, 20 visited bamboo organ.
uh, sinasol uh, in a very organized manner. So last one, 24 join the trip to South Pole. Okay, so ito yung pumunta ng South Mall. Ayan. So, ilan na yan? That is 13. So, ilan na lang kaya ang kulang? Okay, 11. So, ang dami naman nakapunta ng South Mall. So, syempre, madaling punta ka ng South Mall. Meron ba sa inyo hindi pa nakakapunta ng South Mall? Siguro yung mga galing sa ibang lugar. Pero kung pinanganak kayo sa Las Piñas, uh, normal na lang ang makapunta ng South Mall. So, tapos na ba tayo? Okay, hindi pa. Dahil meron pa tayong hindi nalalagyan. Yun yung outermost region or yung nasa labas ng three circle. So, paano natin malaman yun? So, first, we have to add all the numbers na nasa three circles. So, let us add 10 plus 1, that is 12. Plus 4, that is 16. Plus 5, 21. Plus 1, 22. Plus 2, 24. And plus 10, 34. So kung 34 lahat yan, at kinakailangan malaman yung cardinality, cardinality na ilalagay dito, paano yun? So go back to the problem. Ayan, naka-red na nga. According to the problem, there are 40 students. So therefore, kung 34 lang ang nasa loob ng 3 circles, Ilan dapat ang ilalagay outside the circles? Okay, good. Dapat meron 6. So ngayon, nakumpeto na natin yung ating Venn diagram. So madali na lang sagutan sa atin kung ano man yung questions about the problem. So let us start with the first question. How many went to South Mall and, Bar and Bamboo Organ but not to Evia? So, unahin muna natin yung region na kung saan nandun yung South Mall and Bamboo Organ. South Mall, Bamboo Organ. But not to Evia. So, we have to remove yung region na nakay circle E or set E. And removing that, the answer is simply, okay, 1. Okay, next question. How many went to South Mall only? O ba napaka-easy niya lang sagutan kasi you have illustrated the problem correctly. So the answer is simply 11. And the last question, How many did not go to any of the three places? So kawawa naman sila, pumunta sila ng Aspidias, hindi man lang sila nakapunta sa any of the three tourist spots. So going back to the Venn diagram, ito yan. So obviously, the correct answer is 6. Kung mapapansin nyo, madali nang magsagot ng questions kapag na-illustrate nyo ng maayos yung problem using Venn diagram. Again, hindi nyo kayang isolve yung problem kapag hindi nyo nagawa ng Venn diagram ng maayos. Sana nakatulong ito yung video ginawa ko para Narutunan nyo ang solving problems involving Venn Diagram.